So over the past four years, we've seen a lot of interesting things happen. But one of the biggest things that have happened that is impacting millions and millions of people is that many seniors decided to retire. They took social security early and they retired. They stopped working because they could stay at home, they could stay safe and everything would be fine. Well, things are getting rough. Because of the cost of living right now, because of wages, because of everything that's going on right now in our economy, millions of people are going back to work. Some of which never thought they would go and work another day in their life again. However, they're now being forced out of retirement. So today I wanna to break down what's going on, why more and more people are being forced out of retirement, what's happening, but what many people are deciding to do right now. So I'm gonna break all this down in just a moment. But all I ask is one thing, it takes two seconds, go ahead, hit that like button if you enjoy these daily updates. And now let's begin. So if you remember back in 2020, where we were receiving stimulus checks, we were getting enhanced unemployment benefits, there were PPP loans, there were bonuses up the yin yang, because we were seeing that many companies, schools, airlines, just large corporations, they were offering early retirement to many people. Millions of Americans received early retirement back in 2020 and in 2021 because those companies knew they had to let those people go. And so their best bet was early retirement and force people to take it by giving them a bonus. Well, we are a few years later and well, people are struggling. Look at this. It says retirees forced to return to work as inflation eats into savings. It's just not enough. Greg Piazza, a retired police officer with a pension said his cost of living has increased at least $10,000 under President Biden. Okay. Now I want to read you a few statements from people. Um, this is what they have told me just in comments here on the YouTube channel that why they decided to go back to work or what is going on in their lives. Listen to this one person. This person says, and I quote, not only have I been forced back to work, I have to stop doing some of the things that I love. Golfing was a passion of mine, but I had to sell my new set of clubs to afford a recent medical procedure. My wife and I had big plans of traveling across the East Coast in our motorhome, but that is out of the question. I never thought I would say this, but I wish I would have never retired in the spring of 2020. Keep in mind, the spring of 2020 was when COVID really hit. That's when everything shut down. That's when many companies, and my guess is that's what happened here, they offered early retirement. So we'll see what happens. The one thing I can tell you though, is the reason why many of these retirees are returning to the workforce in droves is pretty simple. They can't afford the life that they currently have. And according to financial experts, you have to do one of two things. Number one, the easiest thing is to cut back on some of your spending. Don't live the life that you once had. Live the life that you can afford. That's the first option. The second option is if you want to live the life that you once had, you have to bring in more money because of the cost of living that we are facing right now. It's a huge issue. Now, I want to read you a little bit of this article uh, from Fox News. Listen to this right here. It says right here, I've been back to work twice already, but now with watching the grandchildren trying to help out with the younger generation, I've had to look for work that can work with my schedule and work with the schedule that I do with the kids. This is interesting. The reason I think this is interesting is because that's what I do. I'm not retired. You know, I, I don't have any plan of retiring anytime soon. Still fairly young. But this is something that I did years ago. I started to sell um, goods on Amazon and eBay. I did consulting. Uh, I have multiple websites. Uh, I do a lot of social media stuff, uh, not just for myself, but for other businesses as well. I have many YouTube channels. Okay, I have a lot of different things that I do, but I do all these things around my family, around my children, my wife, my own hobbies. 
That's how I set up my life. And this is what many people are deciding to do now. And this is what I think is very interesting, which brings me to the next point, part-time work. One of the things that I've recently been talking to some of my friends about is that they are trying to figure out a way to still do the stuff that they love, like golf or boating, or uh, you know, some of them just want to ride horses and go travel and hiking and things like that, fishing. And they do that early in the morning or in most cases. But they want to do those things in the morning, then they want to potentially work, find a job that they can do from like 10 to 2, then they pick up their kids from school and they'll just hang out with their kids the rest of the day. Well, I was talking to one of them and said, you know what, the easiest thing to do is go actually work for the school. Go take up a part-time position in the middle of the day for the school. You could potentially do lunches, right, snacks, help out in the middle of the day. There are many businesses. Uh, I was recently talking to a friend of mine who's a manager of a, uh, um, like an ice cream joint or parlor, whatever you call them these days. And he was saying that the, the one position that he always has available is between uh, 11 o'clock and three, it's four hours. 11 to three, only four hours. So that's perfect for somebody that's working part-time that wants this, uh, you know, a little bit of flexibility here. And that's what a lot of people are doing. But let me read this comment to you as well. This person says, and I quote, I'm a retired high school teacher and I've not worked since 2013. I applied for a position in a law office and completely out of my element. Everything is done on the computer now. All communication is done through email and video conferencing, and I'm still catching up. I have thought about quitting several times over the past year, but I can't afford it. Retirement costs too much, and I didn't save enough over the years. That's the other thing I've been hearing a lot from people is they're struggling. Not struggling to just keep up, but they're struggling because they know eventually they're going to run out of money. And so that's why they're coming back to work now. But I want to read you one other thing as well. Okay. All right. Let me read this to you first. This is from Fox Business. It says, I guess I'll find a way. She said when asked about balancing family and work, but the economy right now with the cost of things, it almost mandates that you go back to work. I have made a budget plan prior to my retirement, but I'm still struggling to keep that budget on target. This is a huge issue. Many people don't even know how to make a budget. They don't know about financial planning. They don't know about retirement. They don't know about savings and credit cards and, and just, just basic debt. And that's a huge issue. But let me read you this one, okay? This person says, and I quote, in 2018, I, re I retired to Florida to be closer to my kids. After five years of retirement, I am back at work. But this time, I at least, um, this time uh, is where I at least get to work in a place that I love. The golf course is where I want to be. So that is where I'm working. I don't get any benefits, but I get to golf as soon as I'm off each day, and I don't have to pay for my memory. Pretty good, okay? Honestly, in my opinion, that is actually pretty good because this person actually gets to work now. Right? They, they get to work. Great. So I just want to share this with you because I know a lot of people right now are highly concerned about what is the next step. Seniors right now are being forced out of retirement. The next step, maybe you go back to work and then you wait another six months or a year and you decide to fully retire at that point. So just wanted to share this with you so that you guys know that are retired. Many people are going back to work not because they want to, but because they have to. So I will leave you with that. But again, thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing. And I'll see you guys on the next one.